Hi, and welcome to Wines by Jeff Hardy. My name's Shane Harris, and I'm the winemaker for the brand. And we just thought we'd make a short video to run through our current releases of our GMH range. Uh, GMH has been uh, now in its 20th anniversary year, so it's a, a long-standing uh, part of our portfolio, both here in Australia and internationally. Uh, originally designed to go into export for Canada, and that's where it's done very well and still remains the strongest market. Uh, but here domestically with our direct sale and mail order list you'd see access to this variety quite commonly and there's four reds currently in the range. We've got a Shiraz, a Cabernet, a family selection red blend and a red Meritage. The, all of these wines are designed for easy drinking and accessibility to do good wine at a good price and they're all designed to be soft and approachable in their youth. The current range, all of these are 2019 uh, and they're just very good value, soft fruit and of course hallmarks of the varieties they're made from. So we have a Shiraz and a Cabernet, self-explanatory, <laughs> they're all varietal wines but we have two blends in the range as well. The Family Selection Red Blend is a Shiraz Merlot predominant blend uh, but it has little bits of Tanat, Jurif and Petit Vidot in the blend this year particularly which adds a little bit of interest, a little bit of complexity and more length of flavour as well. So it just adds more spice in the kitchen and just delivers a very strong, uh, consistent wine year to year with those accessibilities. The other blend we have is a Red Meritage. Now the Meritage term, it was coined in the 80s in America, uh, replacing the Bordeaux blend term because uh, funny enough, the French liked to take their term back of Bordeaux because it's a region. So the term Meritage is just explaining uh, that it's a Bordeaux variety predominant blend. So those classic varieties, to be called Meritage, it needs to be made from at least three of the classic five Bordeaux varieties, which are Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Cabernet Franc, Melbeck and Petit Bordeaux. Our point of difference here in Australia, and we were the second winer in Australia to uh, take on the term 20 years ago, so 2001 was the first vintage, is that ours tend to have quite a large proportion of Petit Bordeaux in them compared to international examples. And in fact, this 19 blend is predominantly Petit Verdot, so it's 54%. Uh, and then we've got some Merlot, some Cabernet, and some Melbeck in there as well. Beautiful wines, a little bit more structure than the other three wines in the range, but these do tend to sit up and be counted if solid for a short term as well. Beautiful fruit, beautiful structure, but keeping a nice medium bodied fruit weight and just beautiful fresh fruit. I tend to even sell them myself for sort of five to eight years if I can keep my hands off them that long. It's good to see a couple of bottles of each vintage at that age and they do tend to age quite well with that Petit Verdot backbone. So these wines, hopefully you, some of you or um, lots of you would have seen the wines before, but if you haven't, feel free to have a go and have a, a, a look at them and see how you go. And for those of you that continue to buy the wine, we'd just like to thank for you for your continued support of a small family owned winery. Thank you, cheers.